Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a quick video about something that's happening in a couple of days. And that thing would be the solar eclipse that is about to happen. Now this may not be particularly important to you, but for South Carolina this is a once in a lifetime solar eclipse. The last one we had like this was 90 or so years ago, so I will be definitely in my ages when the next one decides to roll around. And it really, it comes at a good time, especially with the current status of the world and stuff like that. Plus. I didn't know what kind of magic you could do during a solar eclipse. I thought I would never live to see one. So I did some research and here's what I found that may or may not be beneficial to you. Or it really could because part of the information I read was that you don't necessarily have to be able to see it to use the energy of the solar eclipse. But the solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of the sun. And during a solar eclipse, the moon is a new moon. And so you are using the new moon energy. But you are also using the energy of basically every solstice of the wheel of the year which means that magic cast during a solar eclipse is pretty powerful stuff like i even read somewhere that it has the power to change the fate of man that decisions can be made and stuff like that so for me particularly, particularly, I will be doing peace spells, world peace spells, spells to banish negativity, to stop bad habits, to cleanse, and that's really what you do during a solar eclipse since the moon is a new moon. A new moon is good for banishment, for ending bad habits, for cleansing and banishing and just getting all of that stuff out. It is also good for beginnings. So if you want to start planting new seeds or ideas, then this would also be a good time to do it. But during a solar eclipse, casting magic during a solar eclipse is still pretty advanced stuff. You have to really understand the energy of the solar eclipse and the energy of all of the solstices in the wheel of the year because during a solar eclipse the energy of the solar eclipse is equivalent to Samhain to Yule the whole wheel of the year and not only do you need to understand the energy of the solar eclipse? You also have to be able to conjure and raise energy and do your ritual in a short amount of time. Um, I'm not sure how long this solar eclipse will last. Um, for us particularly, the solar eclipse is going to start at 2.36 p.m. And the longest gestation of the solar eclipse is going to be in Carbondale, Illinois, which is 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Um, so to really that is pretty advanced to be able to conjure energy and to be able to cast a spell. It's going to take a lot. Um, what else? Uh, I suppose you could really work some prophetic dream stuff. 
if you wanted to, it would take not as much energy and it would pack a pretty powerful punch, considering that the solar eclipse does produce a lot of energy. Um, but yeah, that's just pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you a few ideas of what you might be able to do during it, this once in a lifetime solar eclipse. And you don't even have to see it if you aren't in the path of the actual solar eclipse. But yeah, if you like this video, then hit the like button. If you have suggestions for any other videos, then leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And don't forget to miss the solar eclipse on... I do believe it's August 21st. August 21st. A little after 1 o'clock. But yeah, hope you have a good time guys. Bye.